you want to do drinks tonight? I would, but I'm actually taking my girl out tonight. Your girl? Wow, that's a new title. You guys made it official? I'm making it official tonight, yeah. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. Thanks, dude. So you've taken attendance then? I'm sorry? You're making it official with her, so I assume you've already taken attendance, right? I took attendance? Roll call. Roll call. The old roster? What do you mean roster? Dude, I'm just trying to figure out if you got her body count. That's all. Are you talking about, like, how many guys she's slept with? Yeah. Whoa. Dude. It's a very normal thing to you ask. You can't. I think you should. No. What do you mean no? You can't ask a girl that. It's not unusual. That is like very disrespectful. It's probably going to make her feel very uncomfortable. And on top of that, it's irrelevant. Guys that care about that are insecure. I don't care at all about that. I would never ask that. Okay. But if you could, how would you do it? So you do care. A lot, yeah. You got to wrap the dog's pill in cheese. Wrap the dog's pill in cheese. You need to coax it out of her. You don't want to just straight up ask her, like, hey, how many dudes are you, you know? Right. But if you approach it with like a, who were you before me? Then you're leading the horse to water. All she has to do is take a drink. Who were you before me? Yeah. That's normal, right? For me to, for me to want to know, like I'm The not... number doesn't matter. Knowing is what matters, right? You just want to know. Yeah. Like, I want to know how many people have lived in my house before I live in it, right? I mean, what if the house is haunted? 100%. Did somebody die in there? Exactly. How are the neighbors? Yeah. It's like when you go to the car dealership and you take a car off the lot, you want to know how many miles are on the odometer. Yeah, show me the Carfax. It's all starting to make sense now. That's why Carfax took off, because they made it easy for you to find out all the historical facts right away with, with your car. You get it. Oof, man, I should not have had that many sausages at dinner. Oh my God, those things were huge. I ate so many of them. I was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It's so funny that we did the German cuisine tonight because there was something that I, I kind of wanted to, to just sort of to talk about with us. About the sausages? Well, kind of, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, you know, I, we're getting close now and I feel like now is a good time to just sort of put the cards on the table. Okay. You know, I just wanted to see what the history was like for you before me. You know? And don't feel like you have to answer because you don't and I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Answer what? I didn't even realize there was a question in there. Well, yeah, because it's not a question. It's a discussion if, if you wanted to. You tell me. Because I respect you and everything that you do and have done with or without me and with other people. Yeah. I guess really it's like what was the history like before us? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I grew up in Rhode Island and then I moved to California when I was 10 and then I moved back to the East Coast for college. Babe, you know all this. We already talked about this. I'm not insecure, so. Insecure about what? Just forget I even brought it up, so. That actually wasn't what I was talking about. I wasn't what? inquiring about your living history, per se. What was it about? It was more about the history of the men in your life. There's my two older brothers and then, you know, of course my dad. Are you nervous to meet them? They are going to love you. You have nothing to worry about and they are very, very sweet men. I'm talking about the other men. <laughs> like my uncle Nick. No. Okay, look, I know I told you that one story, but that was like two Thanksgivings ago and he's, he's sober now. I'm happy for him, I'm happy for you. I'm talking about the other. You know what? You look exhausted. You need some sleep. I will finish up the dishes because you've been slaving away. And you have nothing to worry about, okay? They are going to love you at Christmas. 
Christmas. Let, let's start there. If you were Santa Claus, how long would your list be? My list of what? How many miles are on your car? <laughs> Ballpark. I have no idea, babe. I haven't checked my odometer. How many cars have parked in your garage? I mean, this is an old house, so I guess... You love the Marvel movies. I don't. Iron Man is a film about one guy. Meanwhile, The Avengers, a whole gang of guys. Do you relate to the film about one guy or, or multiple guys at the same time? I don't understand what's going on You know on how I here. love the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest? I did not know Joey that. Joey Chestnut. Who? He set the record with 76 hot dogs. Could you compete with that? Oh my god, we went to Costco once and I got a hot dog. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100, okay? So just say one. A number in relation to what? I'm not mad. You want me to guess any number? I'm not mad. Look, if you have a question you want to ask me, just ask me, okay? Just stop dancing around the question and ask How many it. guys have you slept with? <laughs> That's what this is about? I don't care. Oh, I didn't say that you did So care. what's the number? Because it's not going to bother me because I'm secure. Well, if you really... <laughs> If you really want to know... And that's the thing, sister. I'm not going to be the guy that tries to control you, okay? That tries to tell you what you can or can't do. I'm not like most guys, okay? You want to go out with your girlfriends? Go club and wear your little lipstick and high heels and makeup. Go to Vegas? Guess what? I don't care. Because I'm going to be at home doing my thing. So you better get your story straight. Mm -mm. Because it ain't about you, sweetheart. And as soon as you're ready to join this relationship with who I am, you're going to look me in the eyes right now and you're going to tell me, is it one guy? Is it one million? And when you tell me, you're not going to see anything because I don't care. So how many guys, how many bakers have buttered your biscuits? Huh? How many gas station attendants have filled up your tank? How many gamblers have put their quarters in your slot machine? How many guys have you slept with? And the reason I'm bringing this up It's because I'm ready to take the next step with you. I want you to be my girlfriend. I love you. We broke up. Mm, number was that high, huh? No, 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 no. I actually think the number was rather low. It was me referring to her body as a garage that I think really put the nail, nail in the coffin. Mm. Yeah. But I had to know. You had to know. I had to know. Together? Are we together? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do drinks tonight? Would, but Cause it ain't about you, bitch. No. <laughs> How often do you play? <laughs> Why? Cause I'm at home doing my thing. 